Hey guys, what's up? Mercury here. Uh, this is going to be the first video so far that is actually going to contain game footage. Imagine that. Uh, so the game is Path of Exile. It's free to play on Steam. I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos. And uh, so far I like the game, so i am created a new character and I'm going to run through some, uh, some gameplay with you guys. Uh, kind of like a let's play video So to kick off uh, I turned all this stuff on in the options I like being able to see my life even though it's here. I like being able to see it in numbers uh, the shield will come later and the mana is right here and uh, Let's get up here out of the water and Pick up this driftwood club Seeing it's our only weapon, and we're going to talk to this dying exile. Bastards exile. dumped near two dozen of us off that ship. Uh, you and me were all that survived the swim. <laughs> Never was much difference between exile and the dead sentence. <laughs> uh, once I catch my breath here, we'll take a look around. See what Ray Class does on offer. I thought I saw smoke at those ruins up the beach. It could be worth checking if there's... Oh, and he's dead, so now we've got to beat this guy. Pretty much just by right clicking. When I kill a man, he stays dead. He gives us this orb we can pick up. Push I to open our inventory, check it out. So it's a heavy strike. It's a red gem. Deals 150% of day's base damage, knocks enemies back on hit. And beggars can't be choosers, so we gotta use it. Alright, let's go see what else we can do. Oh, the minimap is also something else in the top right that you turn on your heads up display. I like to see, you can tab for a big one, but I just find it gets in the way. So, let's go try and kill some stuff. Now you'll see down here that uh, my right click is my heavy strike. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of right clicking, but we're going to put that to Q. So you just click on this, select heavy strike. Now when I push Q on an enemy... Close our inventory here. You can see that it takes mana. Whatever, you just have to hold your cursor over the enemy in order to execute your attack. Now your life flasks that are down here seeing we need some I'm gonna use a little bit each one gives you more than one usage as you can see that it used about a quarter of the bottle filled my life bar right up don't be scared to use these because they refill as soon as you get to town also refill as you kill enemies I died a lot the first time trying to save them because I'm just that type of person I didn't know that they were free Now notice that it automatically equipped the iron gauntlets because I didn't have anything else. And it'll continue to do that until it's full. And later on you can, once you run out of, uh, or once this is all full, sorry, then you have to start choosing which piece of equipment you want to wear based on its stats. Let's go see what else we can kill here. Some more undead. Walkers. Fighters, a little reference there for the Walking Dead fans that'd be watching. I really like the Walking Dead, by the way. I don't know about you guys, but it seems to be a fairly realistic. Well, the first seasons were, anyways, fairly realistic. Show how society would actually crumble, and the zombies wouldn't be all you had to worry about. You would also have to worry about humans. Wanting to take what you have. We're not going to let these guys take anything we have. Though. They're going down. And notice that the life flask is full. We're going to use one again. Make sure we stay full. And we're going to refill our mana while we're 
out of here before we go back in to kill the next little group of enemies. You have to really watch your cursor because if you accidentally highlight the next enemy, you'll just run by the one that you were fighting right now. And you could possibly get yourself injured and maybe killed. I think there were some baddies over here we missed. Yeah, these little guys hit fast and I don't like them. And they also have a ranged attack, so we'll try and take them out as fast as possible. Oh, and there's our first level up. Now you want to be sure that when you level up, that you're in a safe spot because baddies can continue to attack you. So let's go in. Now, I don't know about you guys, but uh, this kind of reminds me of the Final Fantasy X. I believe it's X skill tree, but this thing is massive. I mean, look at this. And we're not even seeing it all. Like, that's incredible. It's just to me looks almost impossible to plan for now anyways on where you want to go but right now we only have two options life and armor 60% increase in armor and 16 to maximum life always good or an increase in damage looks like we'll be able to get a lot of damage increase over here and attack speed down here will give us life and armor which is also good Right now I'm going to go with uh, damage. I want some more damage output. Apply. And we're ready to go try and kill some more. Now notice our life went up anyways. Even though we chose the damage. And I, well, I can't say the same about the mana. I don't remember. I'd have to look back at the video now. But If you guys are a fan of the Diablo series, there's a pretty good chance you guys have probably liked this game. Alright. We're doing pretty good so far. I haven't died yet. My first time I died a lot trying to figure all this stuff out. Don't have a chance. Have a chance. Oh, we're out of mana. That's all right. We'll fill that back up. Fill our life back up. That hurt. You can also traverse through water most of the time. Oh. up all of them. That's not good. You can go so far out anyways. Let's double back here. I was hoping to be able to clear this beach in one video, but apparently I'm not fast enough. I like to keep it under 15 minutes for you guys. Oh, we might be able to here. Buddy is down. Right now we're just gonna pick up everything. flask here. Now I didn't get the all clear so I'm assuming that there's more enemies somewhere. But you can see our quest has been updated. We uh, enter the town for our reward. Here's another cool thing is you can see this little bar here. That's our gem. Shows that our gem's al almost ready to level up. Uh, 
that's something new that I don't think Diablo had. Either way, I think it's a good thing. Alright, so we come into the town. It says to talk to Tarkley for your reward. We'll bypass all this stuff. And this is uh, Tarkley here. Oh, these guys are still here from my other game. Cool. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us the moment his blackguards dumped us in the water out there. Just live or die now. Here, have one of these. And no need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. All right, what do we got? Ground slam, cleave. Molten strike. I have this in my other game, so I'm not gonna choose that because I wanna be different, but for those of you having a new playthrough, this is actually a really handy one. Uh, I used it a lot. Actually, still using it in the other game, and I think I'm level 20 right now. I still use that. When you hit the ground it, or an enemy, it pulls out three molten balls and does fire damage around you, which, which is really good. But I think we're going to take Cleave for our warrior. You only get to pick one. Now, if we open our inventory, we can see we, we're wearing a plate vest. This is unidentified. Now, you need... Uh, wisdom scrolls to unidentify this so we can see that the rest of us will probably be no good to us so let's try and sell some items to him now the first time I tried to sell I kept pulling everything over like this quick way to do it is to hold down the control and just click sends it in there and we have enough for one scroll of wisdom but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this anyways because we're not going to use it and we'll have one more fragment. So let's accept that. Here's our. Oh, we got four scrolls of wisdom. I didn't even see that. There we go. So to use this, you want to right click and we'll click on our plate vest. Plus five to armor. 19 armor. So it's better than what we got. Aside from not having the red slot, but right now we are gems in our weapon, anyways. So we're going to take this out. Put this on, and we're going to sell this to Buddy because we don't want it anyways. Now we'll go to our stash here. Oh, the stash is also cross, uh, cross player. This I did not know. So I'm not going to throw that in there. I'm going to leave that on this player. Anyways, guys, that's a first look at Path of Exile. Tune in again. Uh, next week, we'll uh, take on another quest and see if we can get her done. All right, take her easy, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and throw down a like if you thought the video was helpful and or enjoyed it in any way. And we'll talk to you again. This is Mercury. Uh, I was just about to do level caps again. Once again, my name is Mercury. Have a good day.